So here in Excel, there is a feature called spark lines and they can show a trend in your data without having to plot a whole graph. You can see them at the end here. So this one here is showing a line chart representing this data here and so on for down here as well. You can have those as columns or you can have them as win loss as well. And I'm just going to show you how to create them. So I'm just going to delete those. Let's just get rid of those and I'll just quickly show you how to do it. So I'm here in the Insert tab, and you'll see here that it's got spark lines. Line, column, and win loss are the three that you can choose from just here. So I'm just going to choose line, and it comes up with this dialog box here that creates spark lines. There's a data range, which is going to be the representation of your data, and your location range is where you want the data to go. So I'm just going to highlight that range there. And if I click on OK now, you'll see it puts in my little spark line there. And you'll see that if I change any of the data, your spark line changes as well, just like it does when you're using a graph. So I'm just going to click back on here. There is at the top here my spark line tools tab with design underneath. So I'm just going to choose that. And it's here that I can actually choose to change various things. So just so you can see quickly, I can change it to a column, win loss, there's no loss there. And I'm just going to change it back to a line. You'll see they've got various styles here as well. So that could include different colors. So I could change the color if I like. I could also, back here, get it to show high points. And you can see it's put in a little dot just there. I can get it to show the low points. I can have negative points, of which there are none. You'll see them changing in the style here as well. I can get it to show the first point, last point, and markers as well. And you can have any combination of these that you like. So I'm just switching those off. But we're going to take a look now at changing things like the spark line color, which you can do simply by changing it here. You can change the marker color. So if I did have a high or low point, I could do that. and. So you can actually see, you can change how you want the data plotted. You could have it going the other way around if you wanted. And you could do the same for all spark lines if you had more spark lines. I'm going to put that data back the other way, otherwise it would be confusing. So you've got a few options there you might want to explore. You could also clear them to get rid of them. Now the edit data here, I could edit a group location and data, which would actually be, say, that location range there and that range there giving me what should then be a spark line for each row. So that's a group one. You could change just one by going into edit single spark lines data and choosing it just for one row. So you have the group which allows you to do multiple ones all at one time and you've also got the option to do just single ones We've also got hidden and empty cells, so where there are gaps, so you could have those filled in, or where there are zeros, or if you needed to connect points with a line, you could use that too. So that is how you can use spark lines in Excel 2010.